YouTube what's the deal it's your girl Jaira and I am back what's going on everybody it has been a while <laughs> and and a long while since I put any kind of effort into <laughs> okay so let me jump right into it y'all um, those of you who follow me on my Instagram at Jahira's underscore mission that's Jahira's no apostrophe underscore mission um, have been bombarding me with questions about this hair and um, so rather than do a full-on review that's not really what I'm up for right now we're just gonna do a little talk through and a whole bunch of visual aids the big moving lump is my dog attempting to get comfortable so yeah that that's that's kind of where we're at y'all and so um I guess I'm just gonna start with giving you a bit of backstory um I was kind of in a place where I felt like I needed to shake things up a little you know I spent the bulk of my 20s trying very hard to fly under the radar trying very hard to kind of not be seen not stand out um, not really declare myself in any kind of pronounced way and so I erred on the side of conservative for a number of years I mean pretty much the whole decade um, and as of late I've just kind of been feeling like you know you have one life to live and it's um, only hair and what's the worst that could happen and so yeah that's kind of how all of this got started um, I also became like hopelessly addicted to Pinterest and so there were a lot of there's a lot of pins on you know different colored hair and um, I settled on blue because it was so far removed from kind of everything that that I'd, I'd ever done before and um, I ended up being really happy with the result um, I'm making this video now because it's probably gonna come out sooner than later but nonetheless um, I settled on blue and so here's how all of this happened um, this is a full weave um, not an ounce of my hair was left out here come the visual aids um, it all got started when I purchased the um, sorry y'all I'm back <laughs> it all got started um, when I purchased the live unprocessed Brazilian Remy hair from Sam's Beauty dot com and I purchased it in a 14 inch a 16 inch and an 18 inch if memory serves yeah I did this is 14 16 and 18 um, it, it's six bundles um, two of each 18 16 14 and it also comes with a closure which I did not use um, and I purchased it in the shade ombre champagne which is a very fancy way of saying that it's a rooted 1b with um, 613 platinum blonde lengths matter of fact here's the picture hold on yeah so that's how the hair came in and um, I was really excited and the reason why I purchased it in that tone was because I did not want to have to bleach any bundles out in order to um, deposit the the shades of blue that I was going to on this because um, we're gonna get into that in a minute but this is more than one shade of blue as you can probably tell I'm still working out the lighting situation here because it's a new laptop it's a new camera I'm not all the way loving my my tone right now I feel like I'm kind of sepia anyway the point is um, so I went ahead and I purchased um, those bundles um, again it, it's a six in one pack and um, relatively inexpensive I gotta say like maybe one 110 120 if that um, all all necessary links will be below but yeah I went ahead and I got that and then I went ahead and got a closure now this closure is um, this is actually a three-way part lace frontal um, that I received from um, hair dot com now in the interest of full disclosure 
I went to the actual store because it's based out of Louisville and I purchased it there. However, they do have a website that you can order um, bundles and closures and silk based stuff and you know or silk top excuse me silk based really really gyro anyway the point is um this is actually a full frontal it goes from ear to ear see <laughs> and um it came in a natural color natural 1b2 kind of scenario um and so that was the only thing that i i, I had to bleach as far as the um actual depositing of the color went Essentially, all um, for the most part, I used Manic Panic products. I wanted there to be a mildly gradient effect. And so, the By the Roots is um, a Manic Panic shade known as After Midnight, which is a very rich, I mean, it really is what it suggests. It's a deep navy blue. Towards the middle, I used a, um, I believe it's Rockabilly Blue. From Manic Panic and at the very ends I used Atomic Turquoise. Now thanks be unto God my daughter Chloe helped me do all of this. I mean she really 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 worked it out and um, the closure was just a, a 30 volume um, developer and, and left on and lifted to about I would say a light 30 and then I just deposited the color on top of that because I, I didn't want to fry the hair and I knew that the lighter part was going to be towards the ends anyway. With the ends, I mixed Atomic Turquoise with an Ion 2 Color Brilliance from um, that I purchased from Sally Be Sally's Beauty Supply in Azure because I wanted it to be more blue. And, you know, there are some green-based turquoise, and then there are some blue-based turquoise. And I definitely was going for more blue. Some of the color has faded, I will say that. You can kind of tell sort of in the middle here. It's faded to a, a, a kind of greenish blue. And I'm sort of okay with that. I have some leftover Manic Panic. If I was super anal about it, like, I could always hit it again. It is a semi-permanent color. So, you know, after a couple of washes, and I have co-washed this, a couple of times it's gonna fade but no big deal it, it never fades to a color that I would consider like fugly um, and the thing that I love about Manic Panic because I mean I've been using Manic Panic on my natural hair like forever I, I used to be a vampire red addict um, but the thing about Manic Panic is that it has a lot of conditioning agents so I was really not worried about the hair getting damaged in in much the same way that it would potentially by using a permanent color. So that's kind of where that is. Um, I'm really, really happy with the way that it came out. Um, it's sort of in its natural state. I, I co-washed it not too long ago, and I just kind of let it air dry. And then um, my normal routine with this hair is just to kind of hit it with some argan oil and, and brush through. I don't um, have some stringent, you know, regimen. Um, but I do have a couple of pictures of um, the way that it curls. Um, it curls really, really nicely. This hair, I, I was pleasantly surprised the way that it took to curls and straightening and heat overall. Um, I think the first picture you're going to see is when it was first um, installed. And I had flat ironed it. And then as they progress, you'll see um, some curls that I wore for watch night service at church for New Year's Eve. And then I did, um, I did a braid out. Um, for another event because I wanted some like beachy waves and stuff. There's some cute pictures. I'm going to have you take a look at them right now. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so yeah, y'all, those are the um, those are the pictures of the hair in its various states. I really have not had a lot of difficulty with this hair, y'all. Please forgive Teeny in the back there. Hi, Teeny. 
<laughs> but yes, um, in terms of any cons, I mean, there has been shedding. When you have hair, and I mean, it's ridiculous that I should even have to, but, you know, whatever. When you have hair that has been lifted to a platinum blonde before you even get it, I mean, you're going to experience shedding. I don't know why they call this hair unprocessed. It's been processed. I mean, nobody, you know, donated dark-rooted platinum blonde hair to the cause here, people. That's just what didn't happen. But nonetheless, um, the shedding has been minimal, and certainly not to, like, some, some degree that I feel like um, I'm losing hair or, or, or the bundles are thinning out or something like that. I mean, this hair has been really good to me, and, and at night, depending on how I've worn it, We're going to believe God that that was a firecracker. Meanwhile, uh, depending on how I've worn the hair, um, I may do a couple of braids and just, I mean, I always sleep in a satin bonnet. Um, and if you have a silk pillowcase, you should do that because, I mean, cotton pillowcases really do a number on, on anybody's hair, whether it's natural, weaved, whatever the case may be. Um, but yeah, so, so this is pretty much it. I mean, again, minimal shedding. Um... It holds a curl really well. It, it's done me a, a great job. I don't use a ton of heat. I tend to stick to my braid outs. Um, and, and for me, what that means, because a couple of people have asked me in, on Twitter and stuff, um, I, I twist the front of the hair, um, both sides, to the point of like behind my ears. And prior to doing any of that, I spray it with um, like a combination one part conditioner or conditioning mousse and two parts water. Spray the hair all over, get it damp, not saturated, but, you know, damp. Um, I, I twist the front of it, I mean, it's deceptively simple, um, to about the point of being behind my ears. And then I just do two braids, or if I'm feeling like, like I want a super wavy effect, I'll do four braids, um, and tie them up with a bonnet and just kind of sleep on it overnight, and then um, take it out, finger comb it slightly, and you get these really beautiful, ripply waves. Um, me in the pink sweater was was me doing that. That's my braid out scenario. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much me and and my blue hair, y'all. I'm really really ex like I I enjoyed this. I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed. Um, I don't want to say I enjoyed the attention I got, but I enjoyed the attention that I got. Like it was, it was a great conversation starter. Um, I received a ton of compliments on it and I really hope y'all like it. So please feel free to drop it below. Let me know what you think. And as always, I love you dearly. So I'm not exactly sure why my camera chose at that exact moment to cut the audio completely out, but there was no way in hell that I wasn't going to say goodbye to you. And I decided to have Teeny help me do it. So roof. <laughs> y'all take care you'll see me again soon Mwah, I promise I love you and one love <laughs>